the reason that Jill is standing here right now is because she is the keynote speaker at the Saxton, Mel uh, Saxton Sydney Corporate Luncheon, uh, which is coming up uh, later this month, month isn't it? Month, yeah. Yep. Yeah. And the, the theme of, of your speech, Jill? Um, well, it's very interesting actually listening to Mark because um, hearing him talk about fear and challenges in a, in a business context um, was resonating very much with me because, of course, that's um, what I've had to uh, look at not only during the bombings but um, every day since. So uh, I talk very much about um, what that meant to me and every day coming up to six six years now this July. Yeah. So. Yeah. And, and usually uh, the, the phrase that is, that is coupled with your name now uh, is Jill Hicks, London bombing survivor. Mm. Is that okay? Um, well, it's wonderful. Yes, no. absolutely. <laughs> I'd rather be that than a victim. Um, but um, the constant and I'm here. <laughs> the, the constant, the constant coupling. Absolutely. Um, I, I think what's what's very interesting for me now is is the reinvention of life. So um, previously, and I look at life very much as as segregated between the bombing. So everything before the bombing was life number one. When I was um, well. Once again, in, in honour of Mark, I was an absolute proud workaholic. I was that person that was at the office at, at 7am um, and wouldn't leave until midnight and knew the security guards by, the, by their first names. I felt very proud. Too, Absolutely. Yeah. Um, now in life number two, since the bombings, um, I work in, in counter-terrorism and, and peace building. So left my profession in architecture and design and have a very different life indeed, so, yeah. So if you're going to be uh, in or around Sydney uh, on the 25th of March, um, you can hear Jill speak at the Saxton Sydney Corporate Luncheon. Yeah.